Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions, in which we address the areas of concern that divers may have about diving, diving safety, diving medicine, or sometimes just unusual questions to which they can't get answers elsewhere. The particular question in this case is whether or not decompression sickness can cause hearing loss. And the simple answer to the question is, yes it can, but it is extremely rare. If you would imagine, decompression sickness in the ear requires either the inner ear to have an imbalance between the gas in different compartments within the inner ear, or there needs to be a difference between the gas in the middle ear and the inner ear. And this almost exclusively occurs if a person is diving on helium, heliox or trimix and they have a gas switch where there is a decompression event inside the body. Under usual conditions, it is very rare to get pure decompression sickness of the ear decompression illness which includes arterial gas embolism can of course occur at shallower depths if the person has held their breath or has a reason for a lung overpressure injury shunt in the heart or whatever reason that bubbles can enter the cerebral circulation and embolize those blood vessels responsible for making the cochlea work and this is one of the most infrequent forms of decompression illness but it is certainly possible quick two recommendations firstly if you are diving on a trimix or heliox make sure that you get the latest literature and the latest table recommendations by people such as david Dulet and simon mitchell and others about how one should adjust the decompression profile to accommodate the inner ear and of course if there's any risk for lung overpressure injury whether because of a medical condition or the diving activity you do make sure that you avoid it as far as possible and with that until next time safe diving